Millie Bobby Brown. I'm just in awe when I'm watching her. I think she's a very special actress. Millie has these incredible instincts. I don't know where they come from, but let's just let this happen and stay out of her way. Hi, I'm Millie Bobby Brown, and I play Eleven. Millie was a gift. She's like super professional when it comes to acting and really cool person, and it's always fun filming with her. She's able to convey more without a word than many actors convey with monologues. Tape came in for Millie that was so spectacular. I can see it. The thing that's so great about Eleven is that she can be this, you know, superwoman kind of vibe. And then she can also be this vulnerable, very innocent little girl, truly. She grew up very sheltered, not knowing what the real world was. Eleven is just kind of like an alien. She has no idea what's going on. She, just not, she doesn't really pick up on social cues. Teeth. What? You have teeth. Like, a lot of people think Lucas hated Eleven. He just didn't trust her. She was just getting introduced to people. So when she comes back in season two, it's kind of like, wow, she's back. Season one, I didn't, I didn't prepare at all. I didn't know what to prepare for. That's why Eleven came out the way she did. That's why she was kind of born this, like, what is happening? You know, I remember even season one, she has lines, but not, she has very few lines. There was a concern of, oh, is Eleven coming through is Eleven gonna pop in the way that we all want her to. We had to rely on her giving looks that convey a lot of information and a lot of emotion. Once we filmed that first close-up of her, that's when we knew it was something, something special. What, what she does with her eyes, what she does with her face, what she does with a certain glance. I mean, she, all of Eleven's power stuff, which now the kind of famous, the hands, the turn of the neck, this was all, all designed by an 11-year-old girl. It was very interesting to go from season one to being you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't, to then season two, to having boundaries and to having a dad figure who reads her books. It's like almost, it's warming. It's, it's so welcoming and amazing to feel that for Eleven. If we put these two characters together, there's going to be fireworks. Friends, don't lie! We would get in the trenches and we could talk in that parlance and we could have that relationship and she could do some beautiful things. The scene with her and David in the car and on the first take, she just, this tear comes out of her eye when he's talking about it's a black hole. Black hole? Yeah, it's a, you know, it's this thing in outer space. It's like, it sucks everything towards it and destroys it. And we're like, that's great, you know, listen, you know, if you can cry again, you know, for continuity, that'd be great, but don't worry about it. And then on the next take, he says black hole again, and out of her left eye, a single tear comes down. And Millie is a, like a very instinctive actor. So she doesn't do a lot of prep. And she just comes, and then she just, it kind of channels all of this. It was very difficult. It was really hard to have just an X as the rift. And I was just trying to look at it. And I was trying to imagine there was a monster looking at me, which is very hard to imagine. <laughs> and um, being lifted up in the air by a harness and raising your arms and looking at it and screaming your absolute heart out and having blood run from your ears and your mouth and your eyes and your nose. And so like everything is happening all at once and everybody's just dead silent and it's just me screaming and all these sounds in the background. That atmosphere is crazy, like absolutely insane. I think she's got tremendous talent. I hope that it continues to develop for years and years. And it just comes out of her. So you just better be sure camera's rolling. <laughs>